Hey guys, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown and Operation Burning Whisper. I believe that was the, the, the name of the operation anyway. Uh, we are in a large UFO. As you can see, it is very large. There is a, like, a, a back of the map here, so I suppose it's not, not as large as that. Uh, last time we made assault on the front entrance. Um, yeah, because we needed to make our way in here, basically. The, uh, a whole load of things came out of here. There was like three chrysalids, three floaters, and then three of these things, which are like muons or something like that. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I was just kind of floating over it, and it gave me its name. But we're at the beginning of a new turn. It is Marquez's time to, to, to shine. I think we need to come over here and have a look in like all this area over here. But we just need to make our way slowly forwards. I mean, this is just a, a corridor, right? Let's just kind of sweep around so we can see. Yeah, there's a corridor over there. We can see into there. That looks good. This looks fine. Perhaps what we should actually do is use Mr. Um, Pedersen here. Run up here, open the door, see what's going on. If nothing serious is going on... Can we see? What do we see? Uh, no, nothing serious is going on here. So we should be able to just carry on a sweep this way. Maybe we need to go up the back, but I would like to find out what's going on. So who's next? Uh, Turk, let's let's start running you over there, because no doubt we're going to have to get over there eventually. Um, Duck Williams, there we go. Oh, we didn't. Right. You're my man. Let's go this way. Let's go see what's going on. Uh, I'm not expecting to run into too much heavy hostilities. Uh, I am... So now that I've had a look around and had a look at the, the how much of this map is left, I am a little bit worried that we're going to end up with a short episode here, but you know, we'll, we'll see what goes down. Um, no one's really overly bothered by an episode being too short. Um, as long as it's not like five minutes, I'm sure we'll all be fine. Okay, so I still don't know where to send Turk. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking down here just so she has access to places. Uh, hopefully there's nothing behind her. No, this is good. Look, look at that, brilliant. Um, Pedersen is just going to be on overwatch there. Could have probably gone up the back and, and been a bit more tactical about things. But, you know, that's the way of things. Uh, let's send Mr. Rue here up this way. I should have actually healed him. That's what Doc was for. Mm, I forgot about that. Well, there we go. That, that, that's a way of doing things. Uh, did Doc actually move? I don't remember moving Doc. Oh, well. Uh, so the aliens had some activity. Not that any of us have seen what that activity is. Uh, so let's move Odin up here anything to spot no okay open this door and have a look at what's going on what do we see we see nothing nothing at all nothing at all what is making that noise what is making that noise just up the back here well that's cool we, we will go and have a look let's get Rue um, somewhere where he can take an overwatch I think he'll just watch this door and then what we're gonna do is try and get our assault girls up to have some fun back with Marquez we just wanted to overwatch there we go um, Mr. Williams, he can come in here like this. And I'm not sure if Turk can get up there or not. This is going to be a, uh, a thing to watch out for. Uh, yes, yes, she can get up there. Not quite to the door as I would like, but it's good enough. It's good enough. And now we've got Pedersen, who I'd kind of like to do a dash all the way up here, maybe. I mean, can she go all the way through the door? She can. Let's, let's just dash her up here, shall we? Yeah, go on then. As she's the last person, why not? Brilliant. Go catch up with the crew. Yeah. Let's see what's going to happen. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Uh, I, I'm fairly sure we're going to get jumped from out here at some point. So let's... Should we send Marquez to have a look? If all else goes wrong, we can fall back. It looks quiet. looks empty. I like this. We're going to go on Overwatch. Um, we don't want Doc Williams, really. Like it, He is a useful member of the team, but we're just going to send... Oh. Where did that click? I clicked in the corner there. Well, that's good enough for me, though. That is good enough for me. Uh, Turk could not quite get over there. That, that's a little bit annoying. What about Pedersen? Pedersen can get all the way to this side. So let's get her to open the door and see what's going on in there. I am fully expecting some troubles. What do we have? What do we have? No, nothing spotted so far. That's a little bit... A little bit frustrating. So what what can we do? Eugene Ru, can you come over this way and just see if you spot anything on the on the run? No, nothing spotted on the run. Okay. Um, Got to Overwatch now. Turk should be able to make an entrance, but I don't think she's going to. I think she's going to come over here and just watch the watch the doorway for a round. At least until we can get Marquez back involved. Um, Pedersen was supposed to be doing the Overwatch. All good. So I'm expecting something to come forward out of here. Uh, we, we will see what's happening. Lots of sounds going on. 
lots of sounds going on. Okay, Mark, there's no point going around and, and sweeping out there. In fact, I'm going to full on just run. Let's bring him back into the into the game, shall we? Hey. Yeah, no, this is good. Uh, Doc Williams. Now, who was it who was most damaged? Eugene Rue here. Like, this is our last healing. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's got the least least life to be going with. So let's do this. Come on, you'll be back in the fight ASAP. Yeah, no, he will. As soon as. I mean, these aerosol like healing sprays. That's what it's all about. Uh, I don't see. Oh no. I don't see much in the way of places to take Turk. Uh, I'm almost tempted to go for a running gun down to the doorway. Oh, there's even somewhere there we can have a look. So let's let's do a small running gun. Let's run a gun there and see what we can spot. Can we see anything? Do we see anything at all? Nothing. Nothing at all. That's a bit rubbish. Okay, so we're going to put Turk on this side. Maybe go through this door on this side. Ah, contact. Three of them. Three commanders. Hmm. We should be able to do relatively well out of this, hopefully. Not if we carry on playing like that, though. That, that's a little bit little bit naff. Uh, who has some explosives or something? Oh, look. Pedersen. Uh, can you fire on this one here? Look. 62%. Real close. Control. Brilliant. Bow. That's what we like. That's what we like. Uh, Eugene Rue. Um, now, the, the main problem with this is I don't want to take him in too far. 5%? What is that? What is 5% like? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, can we get him behind some sort of cover and then he can take a shot? Let's try down there. I, I again feel quite grouped up, uh, given the troubles we've had. Nine percent. What is wrong with him? Let's try a forty-seven. It'd be nice to have um, have Marquez out here giving hollow targeting to everyone, but you know we kind of have to deal with what we can deal with. Uh, is that the end of my go? Is that really the end of my go? Well, here we go. We're going to take a bit of bit of a beating. Um, Maybe a bit too much of a beating, actually. Uh, I, I hope Pedersen kind of holds up, holds fast. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Any more than three points of damage from this guy, and we're done for. Oh, fingers crossed. Uh, use a med kit. I don't have a med kit. Do I not have a med kit? Um, three rounds until she bleeds out. Okay, we we can deal with this. Um, okay, we can deal with this by getting. Marquez in. Yeah, surely. This is how it works, right? Um, Doc Williams. He has no med kits left. Uh, so, to me, he's got to come in and use the frag grenade, right? Surely. Uh, dash, dash, dash. There's, there's not really much better he can do. Okay, so let's just come into here. It, it is fully open, but if we use the frag grenade and get it... Is that the best we can do? Uh, it's only three points. I'd really like to get that one on the back, but gonna have to just do with that. Frag out. Could have done better probably, but they weren't really grouped up that well, so that, that's a little bit annoying. Uh, we want to fire at him. Forty-two percent. Can we do better? Forty-eight. Forty-six. Uh, maybe what we want to do is move them closer. Um, she is the person for it, after all. Uh, can be stable. It's very good that she can be stabilised, but the chances of her actually getting stabilised are quite slim if we don't finish this. Toasted. Very slim if we don't finish this. Uh, so Eugene Rue, oh my God, mate, where are you going to go? You're going to go over here and get some sort of like uh, height advantage on these guys, and hopefully just like present a bigger target than, than my people that are already dead. Please. Please don't don't kill my guys. What? No. That alien seems to have taken control of that soldier somehow. All of the advances we've made so far, they would be useless against this type of power. They will be. Now what happens if I come through here and do this? Watch the flanks. Okay, so that's that's a good start. Um, Doc, like, it, it doesn't matter that you can get in there, it really doesn't. Um, oh god, okay, can we get in, uh, we can't, we can't do a dash. I just want to get in and fire as many as I can, um, even, even Doc's gonna just run in there. Like, the last person I can see, we, we've got to do well here. Oh my god, wow, so dangerous. 
so dangerous. Okay, well, Operation Burning Whisper was a bit of a success. Uh, Pedersen is down though. I, I could see why she was on the wrong side of the bit of cover. It was just a bad, bad deployment. Um, but thankfully, she should be still alive. Hopefully, uh, critically wounded, but brought back. We could we could stabilize her on the on the Sky Ranger. I hope. If not, I'm gonna say this game is bugged. <laughs> Honest. All right, and what what have we got? What have we got? No, everyone seems a little bit down. Gravely wounded, 16 days. That, that's fine. That's fine. Um, Marquez being promoted to corporal. This is good. Uh, additional rockets. That'd be nice. I have used that. Uh, confers additional damage based on weapon text level to suppression and all area. What? Confers additional damage base on weapon tech level to suppression and all area effect abilities. No, no, wait. I have no idea what that means. Um, well, additional damage is good, but is that all just ex uh, on all le levels to suppression and area effect, or we could have two rockets? I think we're going to go for the extra damage. I'm not entirely sure what it means, but you know, we'll find out. And Eugene Rowe is a heavy. Um, okay, well that that's all right. We could do a lot worse than having a heavy, but it's not the sniper we are after, really. Live capture? Please give my thanks to the main commander. I know it can't be an easy task trying to bring them in alive. You can trust that the research team will make it worth the trouble. But of course, you know, we're shocked at how they treat our uh, our captives, yeah, okay. Look, captive, nice. Okay, we've got three chrysalid corpses, two muon, muton, uh, three floaters, three sectors. I was expe expecting a little bit more there. Um, there was definitely more stuff going on, um, but I was expecting more people. Um, it was a large UFO, uh, like 12 didn't really seem like a, the, the right type of number. So let's go to our objectives here. Now, one thing I have noticed is every time we hit places like this, we find some like stupid stuff like this, you know, we don't need this, uh, we don't need this, and we don't need this, um, we don't need these. Is there anything else we need? Like these alien surgeries, um, there's no research benefit, right? So we can get rid of that. Flight computer, stasis tank, no research benefit. It's stuff like that we're looking for. Um, what else can we find? Is there anything else that we don't need? No, th this seems like this seems like it. The Illyrium has not been researched. Oh well, so we're gonna get the money. Boom, job done. Brilliant. Uh, to me, this seems like we need another another satellite. We've got a few satellites on the go. I'm not sure how many we can um, actually keep going, but like we've got four four going for the moment and over here I reckon we can get another two going let's uh, manufacture two brilliant job done uh, so one of the things I want to do back here hey so first off chitin plating two right I do realize that we didn't actually equip the chitin plating for that last uh, last combat encounter there we'll, we'll have to go and do that now uh, we don't need any arc fibers, we don't need nanofiber vests, we don't need that. We, we probably do need the heavy laser. Heavy laser requires a supplementary power supply and makes it somewhat unwieldy in combat, but it's capable of dealing high amounts of damage. So this is for the heavy. Um, we, Odin could definitely use that. It's one thing we've not done. Is that all our money? That is all our money. Wow, rubbish. Okay, so let's go... I don't know, where, where do we want to go now? We want to try and launch a satellite, really, at some point. How How far away are we from doing stuff we've got the improved pistol we've got satellite skeleton suit another satellite lots of satellites on the go and council report in 14 days so when this one gets done we're going to start thinking about what actually needs doing uh let's finish this improved pot so one thing i know is we don't have any research on the go there is, is this correct no change research what are we doing the skeleton suit in seven days okay i thought that was a um an engineering production okay let's scan for activity if we find anything we're gonna we're gonna stop the episode but we're, we're gonna carry on for the rest of this um just doing what we can do <coughs> uh so, so we don't actually want to build anything uh, i just reflectively kicked let's make the next thing look at look at him down there no not not there let's go back down here can we can we how do we do this like this like this look at him you my friend are in a lot of trouble like you're the one that threw a grenade at us all it, it's all over for you like pe people hold grudges you're aware of this right and like my, my research team they're not overly happy about the, about this whole alien thing anyway uh, so let's continue scanning hopefully we'll get to the five days and get some satellites Nakagawa has come back your attention. Secure transmission coming in now. okay wow so what have we got here 
Uh, reports indicate that a UN, uh, an unofficial, yes, and his associates were caught in the middle of an alien attack in Egypt. Uh, if this official was killed or abducted by the aliens, it would undoubtedly spread panic and reduce the effectiveness of XCOM. We need a squad of your soldiers to escort the, set, escort the target safely to the extraction point. Yes, I want to do that, but I'm not going to do it right now. I am, in fact, going to say thank you very much for joining me for the end of that particular mission. Uh, it was a bit shorter than I was expecting, but, you know, I, I should have known. At uh, the moment I said that I was going to end it to stop it going too far, I knew there really wasn't all that much left, but... I don't know, that's the way of things. Anyway, I will see you next time when we're going to do this. Bye!